Hello everyone, what is going on and welcome back to my channel for another video today. Now, today's video what I'm going to be doing is discussing a topic what is personal to me. Well, not I'd say that, as that sounded really fucking bent, but like, kind of like, a lot of people question me like, why do you play Infinite Warfare still? Why not BO4? Is it because you're a jetpack? Is it because you just can't play boots on the ground game? And lots and lots of stuff. Now, first off, no, I'm not a jetpacker. Yep, I started trying on COD, I started to take it more seriously on Black Ops 3, a jetpack game, but that does not mean at all that I am a jetpacker. I can play boots on ground games reasonably well, especially Black Ops 4, considering, like, Black World War 2, let's just not count that as a Call of Duty. It just wasn't even the game, but I'd say, we're all trying to sound big headed. I'm decent at Black Ops 4 in terms of stats and, like, KD, nuclears and SPM and stuff. I'd say I'm decent at the game, so... Yeah, now I'm not a jetpacker, I just prefer IW because of one simple thing and that it rewards good players instead of rewarding bad or casual or average players. That's why I enjoy it because what I say it's more of a rewarding game to play than Black Ops 4. Now, what do I mean by this? Well, Black Ops 4, you don't even have to be good to get rewarded. For example, you could um, camp the whole game or just die the whole game if you're a bad or an average player. And then um, you'll get a specialist. Now, specialists are extremely overpowered in Black Ops 4, more so than BO3 and Infinite Warfare, but much, much more dominant. And I'd say this game relies on specialists more than it relies on streaks, which shouldn't really be the way COD is. Like, for example, back in the day, if you did well, for example, and you got 1000 points, like maybe a 10 kill streak or a 15 kill streak or one life, you were rewarded with a really powerful streak, obviously, if you had it selected. but if you went on a, a like a 12 or 13 kill streak, you were rewarded with a hater or a VSAT or something like that, which is how it should be. Good players should be rewarded for being good at the game. Like, if I'm good at the game and I can kill people again and again and again or cap lots of flags and defend hard points and stuff while keeping enemies off it, then I should be rewarded for that. A player going 3 and 20 shouldn't be rewarded with a shield middle of the game, what's probably more powerful than any streak in the whole game in terms of like annoyance obviously a, a, a chopper is going to do more damage than a guy with a shield but it's more annoying for a guy with a shield because you could put cold blooded on and then stay inside and the chopper can't get you but you can't really avoid a guy with a shield because once he's in front of you that's it similar with the dog the dog is so stupid because like you don't even have to control it. all if you do is spam rb and lb anyone can do that any Play going 3 and 20, like 4 and 46, or like a long game going 4 and 102. You can call on a dog and get 3 or 4 kills from a dog. Like, it shouldn't really be like that. I think specialists need to be toned down a bit because on Infinite Warfare and Black Ops 3, specialists are good. They are good, but they are somewhat balanced. Like, they're not. The game doesn't depend on them. For example, Talk is probably the strongest specialist when you actually think about it because you can just straight up, straight up lock half of a map, well, not half, but you know, lock a lane of a map down easily. You can just put a Talk shield down and they can't come from that area. Similar with Barbed Wire. Like, Infinite Warfare and BO3, everything you had was kind of relative to you. It kind of like it was your armor or your combat focus. Like, it didn't really help the other team. It was kind of your stuff. So. I feel as if it should be more like that, more of a personal thing than um, like team based because I mean if one person places down a tall shield then n nobody has to watch that lane or that side of a map and it's extremely annoying tall shields and specialists and stuff like that because there's no real way to counter them, you can't counter a tall shield unless you have a rocket launcher now I don't run a rocket launcher Excuse me. I don't want a rocket launcher on every class. I do have a class of a rocket launcher on, but for the most part, I'm just trying to get nuclears or gameplays and stuff, and I'm not going to run around with a rocket launcher on, so it's kind of inconvenient for me. Um, and that's kind of a main issue. I could ramble on about this for days, but I think what BO4 should try and do is maybe, you know, these featured weekly playlists or whatever. We should try one without specialists and without equipment. Obviously, keep keep the regular healing in, like the uh, LB, you press LB and you heal. Keep that in, but remove stim shot, com sec, or acoustic sensor. Remove body armor. Remove equipment charge. Just for a week. See how it goes. Remove anything like that for a week. See how the game goes, because I guarantee it will play a lot more smooth and a lot more, a lot more like Call of Duty. Because there's going to be less amounts of complete bullshit. 
because the amount of times you've put like as many as many bullets into a kid as you possibly can but he's got body armor so he survives it or some kid just turn around drops to the floor and pre-aims you because he's got um acoustic sensor on it's actually kind of stupid but long story short i prefer infinite warfare and probably black ops 3 over black ops 4 because they reward good players they reward good players with decent streaks because for the players who can get them now drone packages or care packages and every card obviously drone packages and care packages are going to be a part of call of duty and i agree with it because to be fair as a bad player i've been there myself it's not fun to get shit on every single game with having no chance of being good so i agree with care packages because um it does give a player a chance to get good streaks but care packages along with super quick stuff like acoustic sensor or comsec along with stupidly overpowered specialists along with operator mods and stuff like that and really overpowered lmgs it, it just there's too much bullshit in black ops 4 to enjoy like there's too much random stuff what can just anti you off streaks like i guarantee if i go on a 20 or a 25 streak i'll get killed by let's try and list them off i'll get uh Reactor cord, purified, uh, mesh mine, dog, nine bang, shield, torque, razor eye, double FMJ titan, or well, a titan in general, operator mod shotgun, and I'll get BS by an RCXD that's some kick off on my care pack. I'll get like acoustic, some kid will turn around with acoustic sensor and drop. I'll put three, four, five, six bullets into a kid with body armor and he still won't die. Like, there's just too much random, annoying stuff in Black Ops 4 to find it fun for me. Well, IW, yes, it had its fair share of annoying stuff. I'm not saying Infinite Warfare is a perfect game. No COD is a perfect game. No game is a perfect game. But I feel as if it was more balanced than Black Ops 4 is and probably ever will be unless we remove special self again. So having said that, I do hope you enjoyed this commentary. I just thought I'd put a gameplay in the background. Probably going to be a 53 gun streak on Crusher. Now, if you did enjoy this, please uh, let me know in the comment section below if you'd like to see more videos like this. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in the next one. And peace.